Hello and welcome to Pendragon. This is a, a story-driven tactical combat game being developed by Inkle Limited and just came out here just a couple days ago here on Steam in full release. I played the uh, the demo of this one just a few months ago on the channel and uh, and showed off the basics of it. So I thought today we check out the full game and see what, uh, well, full release anyway of the game and see what it's all about. Um, it's We're set here in 630, uh, 673. Camelot has fallen. Roundtable must rally to save King Arthur. That's the story. And we get to choose a character and sort of embark on their adventure. There's Every time you move throughout your um, the map, you, you get different stories, and, and it sort of evolves the story as time goes on. So anyway, let's check this thing out and see what the uh, what full release gives us. So when I played the demo, I played as Sir Lancelot. Uh, we can play as Guinevere today, but we got all kinds of folks in here that we can choose from. There's a lot of folks to choose from once we unlock some things. But let's go and start with old Guinevere today. Queen Guinevere. And we start off with our story. We get, um, it's, it's, I got the tutorials off, but it's still the same tutorial, like, opening. It's still the intro of the story, basically. We're at the at Library of the Holy Spirit. Uh, since the fall of Camelot, I, I didn't read that. I'm sorry, I wasn't fast enough. Enough of this, if God wanted my devotion, he would have given me a sign, she says. Um, which is, this is different. That I just played this as like a little test game to figure out what I was doing, and it's different. Interesting. Let's make our, uh, let's make our way over here. So I have my spear in my hand. Okay, we have the higher ground. So there is some gameplay things here. We've got basically two stances. We have like a combat stance and we have an exploration stance. Every time you move, we we kind of fill the squares up with with our color, um, and doing so affects the board, affects the story. Uh, we get these little uh, these little resolve things, which gives us the ability to do whoops to do special um, special things. So uh, that's what we want to do. But anyway, we're gonna switch our stance over here so we can pick this guy up. Nope. Who are you? My lady, what are you doing? Um, I'm walking on this square. They all believe it's too late. You must go, Sister Guinevere. And may God go with you. Okay, interesting. I got a new ability. All right. Okay, but it's strange because I just played a test game of this, and it's, it's completely different. Um, so it starts out with me. I'm in the, the abbey here, and I'm, I'm walking outside, basically. Um, each map is a little map like this, and you have to go to the exit to win the thing uh and then we get a choice uh this is like our core story so we're going to get a king arthur mordred's going to take him down arthur has no army so we're rallying the troops or rallying ourselves anyways to go save king arthur um we have a choice are we going there because we love him or because we do not love him now that's a much more interesting story so we're going to go with that one i do not love him i never did but i will not leave him to the wolves Okay, next zone, we're at the convent stables. The stable yard is drenched in rain. The nuns are busy observing vespers. Stable hands have gone home with their children uh, in Kendra's Valley. There's no one to see Guinevere slip away. Okay, so we are uh, outside in the stables here. We're going to make our way to the uh, to the exit. We need to steal a horse. So let's do that. So um, I get some special abilities along the way, which I got one there, which is the push forward, basically walking faster option. Never stole anything before. It's exciting. I'm going to kind of bounce along the top here and pick up these uh, these guys, which we don't need, but Abbas will pray forgiveness for me. We go over freezes. She has her movement from across the yard. There's someone here. So one thing about this game that I found that was very interesting um, when I played the demo was, depending on where we move, even on this little map, like just moving from one side of the map to the other uh, changes, changes the story a bit. Uh, which is interesting. And we can go see that in a moment. We'll, we'll go back and check that out and uh, see kind of where our story progression as, as we get there. Um, so he's going to come in here and chew on our face, so we're going to go scoot on up here. A wolf, perhaps? Loose in the abbey? Oh, Marcus. It's the old age convent hound, Marcus. Left unchained to wander the ground at night. He startled me. Grr, he says. Well, I don't want to kill you. So uh, I can charge. Charging can help you dodge past an enemy. Oh, yeah, let's just dodge him. Good idea. Mike. I can only charge to the right and towards the end square. I can only go towards the end. I can't charge backwards, basically. Is what Brian tell me. The dog gnashes at Jenny's heels as she leaps past. Marcus, what's gotten into you? Or good dog. Yeah, yeah, good good dog. Good dog. He's doing his job. He won't bite me. Marcus suddenly turns and dashes away. He's gone. I suppose I'm on my own after all. Oops. There's the horses. 
Okay, let's go pick him up and uh, and ride on out of here. Guinevere uh, hurries to, the, to to Rowan, who is cropping in a nosebag. He smiles with a grin. Steady now, Rowan. It's only me. Contains some bread and cheese, enough for two meals. All right, I need your sure-footedness. The road away leads to Kendra's Valley. A huddled village, pooled between steep hills. It's a common road to the uh, Library of the Holy Spirit. Find your way through the dark for me, Rowan. And we advance. Now we get, I think we get a choice here, though. Um, we can go to uh, Garanir's Abbey. Um, or we have the Forest of the Dived. And there's also Kendra's Valley. I guess we're trying to get up to here. So it's our goal. Um, that's a weird, that's a weird, and it's neat, but a weird effect. I like it. I like it. Um, so what the was here? We, we can either go to the forest, um, or go to Kendra's Valley, which is where all the, the uh, convent people went. Um, I'm not opposed to that. Sure, let's go there. The village serving the library of the Holy Spirit. Might get recognized. Oh, might get recognized here. Oh, well, we probably should go to the forest then. Looked empty enough. Okay, let's go there. So as we travel, we um, as days go by, we eat um, if we want. If we if we want to eat, we'll keep our health. If we don't eat, we don't keep our health. This is our morale bar up here, which again uh, adjusts the story and adjusts the ability to use our special powers. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and eat to make sure we're you know we gotta be happy, happy, you know, full stomach, and 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 um, what's the word? Saving uh, uh, Arthur on the mind. Daybreak of the second day in the forest of. David. Is that some sort of Welsh name? I don't know. Between convent stables and Kendra's Valley lies the dark sprawl of the forest of David. Ancient forest full of strange things. Guinevere rides on in. Okay, let me take a look. Let me show you this. I'm free, she says. The story so far, so we can see where we begin. This is just, you know, like, what, five minutes into this. We all believe it's too late. I've been blessed. Uh, never stole anything before. There's the doggy. And then we're in the forest. And it, it seems pretty, um, I don't know, I've only played, I, I've not played through really anything of this, so I'm not sure how different it changes as you play the game, but it seems like it changes quite a bit. Um, I turned text speed, I, I sped it up a little bit, I'll slow it down just a little bit. Okay, I'm free. Now let's make our way, we, wanna, we don't really need these things because we've got them, but we're going to go and bounce, or at least we can pick up that blue guy. This was at the convent, we're kind enough, but I'm hardly the type to make a good nun. What was that? Looks like um, a snuffleupagus, I guess. Good nuns don't have Norman lovers. I wonder where you are now, Lancelot. Bear is crashing through the trees. Barely a stone's throw from Guinevere. Guinevere. All right, let's go. Um, we can bounce over here, but then he's going to be in front of us. We could stab him. We want to go there? Stab the guy? Now then. Not too hard to trick a bear. Stay calm. Let you let them come to you. Like that. Alright, so now we can... I guess if we want to, we can like, we can like dash past them. No, no, we're, we're going to stab. Oh, I guess... Oh, I gotta change my stance. I can't... Um, change the stance costs a turn. So actually, I gotta bounce back a bit. Don't get tangled in your own feet, Jenny. Yeah, yeah. Two bears! What a pity. Now there's two. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Um... I'm just going to hold my turn, because you're going to get a little closer than I can stab you. Come here, bear. Why aren't you moving, bear? My morale is a little bit on, on the, the, the low side. I breathe quietly. Her eyes stay fixed on the bear. Um, should I hold one more? Well, I suppose there's two options. We, we either stab him, or we just wait for him to come on this side, and then we bolt past him. Feels like a bad idea, does it? I thought it was always like a bear. But then Lancelot was more like a goat. Um, Yeah, we can do this. We're holding. Holding. Holds her spear tightly. Bear crashes through the branches, coming closer. He has to stand here for us to stab down at him, I think. There's his bear. He has, yeah, linear stance. Um, Okay, come here. Uh, I think he's going to go next. Just hold our ground. I'm ready. Why did you move? I'm still ready. Oi. All right, let's go back on here. And so there was these things in these woods. 
Here he comes. Alright. Crashes through the low shrubs. Now let's stab him. Take that bear. Rauf, he says. Okay. One bear down. Other bear growls. And we stab him again. There we go. We lost some morale. Maybe I, I, I hung out a little too long in there. She calls for a horse. Swings a stride. I was a terrible nun. I'm better bear killer. I know this road from the maps. It runs to Wayne Her Priory. It said that Sir Lancelot rides, resides there now. Ride me safely there, Rowan. I need help of his love now. Okay, where are we going now? Up to Narbatharth? Or there. So where does this one take us? This one is used as a tilting ground by the Priory for tournaments. What'd she say? That's where, Sam, that's where he's at. I hope to find Lancelot there. Yeah, we should probably team up with whole Lancelot. Let's do that. He's out there somewhere. Quietly now. I don't want to be stopped. I don't want to have to hurt anyone. Yeah, that's right. We don't want to have to hurt anyone. All right, spear firmly clenched in fists. I've got one meal in my pocket. And away we go. Which we can take pictures of. Afternoon on the second day at Wayne Her Priory. Or a water pours from the rooftops of Wayne Her Priory. It gutters below the posts of the palisade. It turns the fields to mud and makes the fires spit and hiss. Guinevere pulls her hood down low. Sir Lancelot? Are you here? Now I'm gonna go there. Can I smell smoke? Bears again! I heard something. More bears. Um, we're gonna switch to, to fighty stance. And I'm gonna pick up one of these guys here. What's that charge? Um, I could do that. No, no, we'll just, we'll just do that. So, these colored squares, uh, I can move like through my own squares reasonably quick. I can skip a few. The, uh, the blue squares, I can't do so much. So we're gonna just um I guess we just scoot over here and stab this guy, because that's kinda what we do. We're kind of we're kind of a stabber. Did you murder Sir Lancelot, Bear? You just scare him away. Bear is trailing the movement of Guinevere. Perhaps it knows that Guinevere is almost away. I could I guess I could just like get away, but no no. No no, we're a stabbing type. Guinevere severs the throat of the bear. She shudders her, her shoulders her spear. Sir Lancelot is out there somewhere, and I will find him. No one's going to stop me. I will reach Camlin, whatever the costs. Okay. Um, where to? Ela's Junction. So we can go either that way or that way. What was this one all about? Uh, a tilting ground for tournaments. Someone's ridden there recently. What about this one? Place where several roads meet. Sure, that sounds like a good place to go, I suppose. Bounce over there. Right, Jenny. This kind of has a bit of a, um, a wilder myth. Um, kind of a, like some sort of feel in there. That one's more paper craft. This one, I think, it sort of is. But where it's very, very story driven, and, and whatever you do throughout the game uh, affects that. We got Odger's Cleft over there in the Swamp of Vagon. Oh, what's down here? We have, what's this? Mar Houses Woods. Ancient trees and thick brambles offer no path. That seems like a dangerous place to go. A wide expanse of. Heather and scrub. This heath might be somewhere I could rest for the night. Or we have the swamp. Which doesn't seem like a place I want to be. Are we trying to get to there? I suppose that's probably a faster way. Let's go to uh, Old Augur. See what he's got for us. Maybe we'll find some, some peace here or something. Over long battles, our, our morale will reach zero. If we hit, if we're lower. If we uh, hit zero, we we'll run away. It's getting dark. Here in Odger's Cleft on the second night. Atop the cleft, night falls and the rain keeps on, beating the ground with its endless drumming. Fear creeps in. Guinevere does not know how long it is until Arthur or Morden are to meet. After a long ride, she reaches Odger's Cleft. It's a narrowing ridge with steep drops either side. There's only one road in, one path out. Guinevere hurries on, just desperate to reach Camlin before it's too late. This is the fastest road. Okay, well, let's let's go then. Makes it dangerous. Do you think you'll outsmart me, says the Shadow Man? Um, 
That's gonna push me over there. I don't care about that. Um, I kind of want that thingy. Snag it. It's cold up here. Too cold to rest out the night, I think. What are you? Things move around amongst the shadowy rocks. This reminds me of the field where Merlin had Camelot built. I never understood why he chose such a godforsaken spot as he did. A mud plain formed by the runoff of three river rivers. You want me to? You want me to do that? Why? This seems like a bad idea. Does that seem like a good idea? I don't think it does. He said there were two dragons at war beneath the earth. First river under Camelot was the blood of the white dragon. Second river was the blood of the red dragon. You should not have come to Odgar's Cleft, warrior of Arthur. Oh, yeah? I'll show you, warrior. He never told us what the river, third river was supposed to be. But I think it bound the other two together. Or perhaps it simply kept the other two apart. Can I see you yet? Merlin built all that, then he just disappeared. Cut you down soon enough. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. We don't know who you are threatening. Would you think you'll outsmart me? I didn't mean to click there. <laughs> um, now we're, we're moving in. We saw him. It's just a little, a little ruffian. Don't come this way again. You hear me? One of your laughs darkly. Oh, he ran away. Get back here, you coward! I wanted to stab you. All right, whatever. Gwendovy the Merciless will be my name from now on. We have a tower and a bane. All right, all right. Um, can I go here also? It doesn't seem that I can. Path has fallen into disrepair. So I guess we're going to go either one of these. So we have a, a ruin on a hill uh, and a lonely tower on a hill. We'll take the uh, we'll take the lonely tower. Not really the way we wanted to go, but it's it sounds more exciting. And it's very dark at night. Can we maybe get a rest around here somewhere? Seems like the last place we want to do is go north if it's cold outside. The final watch of the second night at Dinas Bane. Freezing midnight rain shows no sign of stopping. Dinas Bane is a ruin covered with ivy, thick with musty ropes of cobweb. Quinevere pushes a blanket of cobwebs aside. Someone should have been looking after this place. That's a big spider. There's a noise, like snow sliding from the... Uh, that's a big spider. I know you're there. Oy. Something slides close at hand. Yeah, we should probably go into combat mode. You're, you're right, Guinevere. We should probably do that. Um. Well... I suppose I can stand there. He's gonna step over there, and I'll just, I'll chop him up like I do. Will it? Oh, can you attack diagonally? Whoop, whoop! I didn't mean to do that. The Knight of Sir Mordred, riding carelessly through this place to reach somewhere. I guess because they can only they only attack. Oh, right! I can see there. They only attack diagonally. They can't attack. I got it. Oh my! The spider looms over the fallen form of a knight and plunges its mandibles into cracks in its armor before sucking the chewing noisily. He's gonna eat my face. Um. Well, that. Uh, um. Uh. I guess we back up. Because you can move there, then I'll just stab you. Okay, yeah, go back there. I see you there, beast. No, no, come this way. Um. If I go there, you're gonna come back. Let's, let's just hold for a turn. Just need an opening. There we go. Thank you. Who's back into the dark? Uh, if I go up there, he's going he's gonna to bite me. Uh, but if I go here, what's that going to do for me? Nothing. He's going to go back there again. We can scoot over a little bit and then bounce up to him. Whoever built this place must have upset some witch. This place must have been cursed. Ah. The spidely spider suddenly springs through the pillars. Another one? Um, he attacks diagonally, so he's going to chew my face. Um, I want to go... I, wanna, I guess I'm going to go right here. Another spider. Yeah, yeah, that guy is, is spooky. Um, I cannot stay here, but we can, we can, oh, we can't do that either. We're just in a, we're just in a bad spot. Uh, we gotta back up. Okay, oh, no, you don't. 
scuttles across the stone. Now we stab. Take that, spider! That's a lot of eyes! Lights in the spider's eyes go out, one by one. Still more are coming. Um, I want to go... I think I want to go back here and then charge over there. So we can get that guy. Careful now. Never mind all that. Spider zips. Okay, let's go... Uh, let's bounce over here. Okay, now they can attack diagonally, so I guess we want to go... I, oh, yeah, I could do that and then charge there. Thanks, game. That's an awfully helpful tip. I like it. Those are tips which I can turn on and off. But I have them on right now. And it gives me hope. Another spider scampers into the gloom. Oh, he scampers away, does he? Well, Guinevere doesn't, doesn't let spiders get away. No, no, no. She stabs. There you go. Let's see you crawl without legs. Oh. <laughs> okay. Shoulders her spear again. It has a has a nice laugh. She slaughters another innocent animal. All right, Camelon, that's where we're trying to go. It's a little ways off. We got a bog to go through before we get there. Okay, uh, let's make our way up there. You know what? Uh, let's call it a day here, though. This is Pendragon. Uh, by the way, these uh, Inkle Limited there are the folks that made 80 Days. If you played that one, I don't think I actually played that one on the channel. Um, but anyway, it's out now. It's on full release. I'll put links below to the Steam page and all that. So, anyway, thanks for watching. And, of course, if you want to see more of this, let me know. And we may, well, we may, we may dabble in. Maybe we can go finally meet somebody over there and maybe stab some more innocent animals on, along our path. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.